Okay, kind of took a break there. Kind of did some backtracking. The uh, full CCC Camp Loop Trail. It's going to be about five, six miles, and it's kind of kind of rushing against the against the uh, daylight here. It's about four. It's after four. Uh, I know I got several hours, but I didn't bring any water. First lesson, folks: water. Water. It's humid. It's not having any suns in the cloud, but it's about. 95% humidity. Uh, I know I said earlier it wasn't humid, but it is. So I decided to take the, just a double bag for about 150 200 yards and take this other trail right here. I think it's the Bear Loop Trail. So it's just some, it's just gonna be Tishomingo State Park trails. I don't know. And if you're coming out here, can I advise to become a member of, of All Trails app, become a pro member, download your maps for offline navigation because I have not had any service hardly to get since I've been on this trail. Okay, so I know where I'm at here. So I'm just gonna walk over here, see some views of the river over here. This is pretty through here. And when I come back, I'll pick up. Well, can pick back up. Sorry for the camera. I've been playing with adjusting the level, zoom, panning up and down, and trying to get it more even. So this is the CCC Camp Loop Trail, so. Okay, there's the little river under this swinging bridge here. Beautiful state park. If this is, you know, where his Pickwick Landing is for the water, this is for the hiking and stuff. So definitely advise us to come for that. Really nice, you know, nice flowing river, slow flowing, uh, good to be kayak. So definitely, if you're in the kayak, it can be something to look into coming down here and kayaking. Now this right here, this is kind of what I remember the duck the Duck River trails I've, I've hiked. Kind of what they used to look like before the dam came in. It's gently flowing river right there. That's really cool. So basically what I've done, I went around the ridge line and then where I stopped filming, I backtracked about two about 200 yards and took a lower little path. And this is the lower path of the Camp Loop Trail. 
All right on. Yeah, this is it. And great river to kayak right there. You can just hear it kind of flowing. That's a nice, nice river kayak. And you can see it's moving. It's not super fast, but it's moving. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay. I do have to watch for my, my footing and stuff here. So. Little etchings on the tree there. Okay, I wish I came a little bit earlier in the day because I have lost track of time. I've been on the trail for about an hour. I say for about an hour, you know, but. But I'm bad about this, you know basically underestimating uh, how long it takes you to hike things, drive, drive places, hike places. <laughs> I always say it takes less time. But right here, good shot of the river. It's starting to rain, sprinkle. I'm gonna turn around and we'll pick back up the staircase. All right, we've kind of managed to backtrack to the stairs. Now we're going back towards the the swinging bridge. It started to rain on me and I'm starting to lose against time. My time constraints are halfway today. But so sorry for the disjointed walk. I was along the ridge line enjoying it. But look down it's like almost four o'clock, which I've been out here. I left my house at two. And I get back. 
So, oh, this is neat right here. It's a little man-made. But I'll have to come back. I didn't miss much of the trail. Probably missed about a mile, but I've covered most of it. Just the, the threat of rain, which it did start, but kind of stopped. And then the time, and then me committing the cardinal sin while going out and to a hike, no matter how short of a hike you think it's going to be. Not carrying water. I, uh, not make that mistake again. I will carry some water. But I am kind of just traveling back south toward with, with the river, back towards the swinging bridge. Some really neat rock formations here. I can see why it is it's popular. And to the left of the river. So instead of bringing all of, all of the maybe three four miles of the trail, I'll bring about two and a half, three today. But thank you for again watching. So I'm just gonna remain quiet and let you take the sights and sounds of of nature. Okay, this is not the, <laughs> not the most sound bridge here, but we will test it. Nah, it's, it's fine. Wish I had railings though. Some 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 thoughts on Tishomingo State Park in Tishomingo County, Mississippi. Is first of all, I've never seen any of the other Mississippi state parks, but I'd say this is a rust, more rustic part park. It's older and very rustic, but definitely has its charm with uh, with the rock formations of the Native American tribes. That's really neat. Okay, here we are. Here is the swinging bridge up here.
but two thumbs up i enjoyed it i enjoyed i enjoyed the trip um wish i'd come earlier in the day and could have had more time to kind of make my way around but uh definitely worth it so what we're going to do let's just uh take you over the swinging bridge one last time it's really cool but so there is where we went and went about two miles then hit a little shortcut trail and come down through this loop right here and we went north for about 500 yards just to kind of check it out then come back all right Definitely going to feel the back, feel this on the back. Doing much better coming back than going forward. That's pretty fun. I enjoy that now. That was fun. All right. Thank you so much for joining me here at Tishomingo State Park in Mississippi. Till next time.